الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا الحمد لله الذي أتم لنا ديننا وأكمل علينا نعمته ورضي لنا الإسلام دينا اللهم لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم لك الحمد حتى ترضى ولك الحمد إذا رضيت ولك الحمد على حمدنا إياك يا رب العالمين My dear brothers and sisters I began by praising Allah Azza wa Jal the one whom we praise and the one whom we ask for help and forgiveness and I seek refuge by Allah from the evil of myself and the evil of my deeds whomsoever Allah guides none would be able to misguide and whomsoever Allah allowed to be misguided, none would be able to guide. And I praised Allah Azza wa Jal, the one who completed the deen for us, perfected his bounties upon us, and had chosen for us Islam as a religion. وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ لَا إِلَٰهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ الْأَحَدُ الصَّمَدْ الَّذِي لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدْ وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدُهُ وَرَسُولُهُ بَلَّغَ الرِّسَالَة وأدى الأمانة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاه اليقين تركنا على المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك أنا bear witness that there is no deity worthy the worshipping except Allah the one the sufficient master he begots not nor he was begotten and there is none co-equal nor comparable unto him and I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last and the final messenger of Allah. He sent him to us with the message of Islam. And he struggled so hard and exercised jihad in the true meanings of jihad to ensure that what we have today in our hands is the last and the final message from Allah. Ibadallah, usikum wa nafsi muqassirata bi taqwa Allah. Wa uhadhirukum wa nafsi min usiyanihi wa mukhalafati amrihi لزوما لقوله الحق تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وكذلك في قول الحق تبارك وتعالى يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا اتقوا الله فإن زلزلة الساعة شيء عظيم يوم ترونها تذهل كل مرضعة عما أرضعت وتضع كل ذات حمل حملها وترى الناس سكارى وما هم بسكارى ولكن عذاب الله شديد I began by encouraging you and myself first of all to fulfill the commands of Allah and I warned you and myself first of all from disobeying him according to him telling us in the Quran O oh you who believe Fear Allah the way he should be feared and die not except in the state of Islam. And for him also telling us in the Quran, O oh mankind, fear your Lord. The one who created you from one soul and created its mate from it and created from them so many men and women and fear, fear your Lord by whose name you demand your mutual rights from one another and fear your Lord by observing the right of your blood tie relatives, your Rahim, fear your Lord as the shaking of the hour is so horrible. When you see the pregnant dropping her load, and when you see people walking, and the nursing mother too busy to look after her baby, and when you see people walking in the state of a drunken, and they're not drunken, it's the tournament of Allah Azza wa Jal that it's so severe in that day. My brothers and sisters, Allah Azza wa Jal in Surah Al-Baqarah, the second chapter in the Quran, in verse 196, in about seven verses, addresses us, addresses a beautiful ritual and ibadah in the life of the Muslim. 
Allah Azza wa says in Surah Al-Baqarah, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Wa Atimmu Al-Hajja Wal Umrata Lillah, Fa In Uhsirutum Fama Staysara Minal Hadi, ولا تحلقوا رؤوسكم حتى يبلغ الهدي محلة فمن كان منكم مريضا أو به أذى من رأسه ففدية من صيام أو صدقة أو نسك فإذا أمنتم فمن تمتع بالعمرة إلى الحج فما استيسر من الهدي فمن لم يجد فصيام ثلاثة أيام في الحج وسبعة إذا رجعتم تلك عشرة كاملة ذلك لمن لم يكن أهله حاضر المسجد الحرام واتقوا الله واعلموا أن الله شديد العقاب الحج أشهر معلومات فمن فرض فيهن الحج فلا رفث ولا فسوق ولا جدان في الحج وما تفعلوا من خير يعلمه الله واتقوا الله واعلموا أنكم ملاقوه وبشر ال واتقوا الله واعلموا أنكم ملاقوه وتزودوا فإن خير الزاد التقوى واتقون يا أولي الألباب فليس عليكم جناح أن تبتغوا فضلا من ربكم فإذا أفضتم من عرفات فاذكروا الله عند المشعر الحرام واذكروه كما هداكم وإن كنتم من قبله لمن الضالين ثم أفيضوا من حيث أفاض الناس واستغفروا الله إن الله غفور رحيم فإذا قضيتم مناسككم فاذكروا الله كذكركم آباءكم أو أشد ذكرا فمن الناس من يقول ربنا آتنا في الدنيا وما له في الآخرة من خلاق ومنهم من يقول ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار أولئك لهم نصيب مما كسبوا والله سريع الحساب واذكروا الله في أيام معدودات فمن تعجل في يومين فلا إثم عليه ومن تأخر فلا إثم عليه لمن اتقى واتقوا الله واعلموا أنكم إليه تحشرون الله أكبر Lovely verses Seven miracle verses outlines the ritual of Hajj. As we are, as, as a group, as a delegation from the Ummah, have already made their way to the old house of Allah. And as some about to leave us, if they have not left us already, we send a message to them. And we as Ummah remember this ritual of Hajj by reflecting on the Hajj of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Hijjatil Wada'a so that we are as an Ummah will be inspired with this beautiful ritual in the life of the Muslim. It is a ritual that Allah Azza wa Jal expects us to fulfill once in our lifetime as it happened to be with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the 10th year of the Hijrah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the 23rd year of the Bi'tha of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, after he settled down the, the, the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal in the Arabian Peninsula, after things were secure, after he was able to go and fulfill one of the rituals to Allah Azza wa Jal, he announced that he is going to Hajj. And the people around him in Medina and in the surrounding areas around the Madeira, all were rushing to accompany the Prophet in his Hajjatul Wada'. 
And as the Prophet وسلم, got himself ready and moved out from Medina to Dhul Hulayfa, where he started his ihram as he was preparing himself for the wudu, he, the pe people around him were rushing to take the residue and whatever left from water in his bucket to get the barakah from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam left, left behind him the dunya, if he had the dunya in his heart, to teach the people around him as he was telling them, Khudu anni manasikakum. Learn from me the manasik of the hajj. He, pre he took his ghusl and he perfumed himself with the hands of Aisha radiallahu anha and he put the shrouds around him, the ihram to indicate that he is leaving the dunya and departing to the old house of Allah azza wa jal. And the minute he declared the ihram, he starts shouting the talbiya to Allah Azza wa Jal. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik. Inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk. La sharika laka labbaik. Allahu Akbar. Beautiful chanting reminds you. Reminds you of being honored to be one of those whom Allah will be chosen among the one point something billion of Muslims who are living on earth to be a visitor to the house of Allah Azza wa Jal in one of the most one of the most honorable and one of the most valuable times of the year as your Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam indicated that ما من أيام العمل الصالح فيهن أحب إلى الله من هذه الأيام the days which we have started already as my brother Harun mentioned that Alhamdulillah from the gracious bounty of Allah Azza wa Jal that we're uniting on starting the days of the Hajjah together so they are, we are able to observe those valuable days as a congregation, as an ummah, and will be able to learn the lessons from the hijjah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam proceeded in his hajj with, with a hundred or so people around him. This is the number of people who have decided to join the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his hijjah. And I don't think a khutbah would be sufficient and would be fair to explore the hajj of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And maybe, maybe he was reflecting on the time when he was coming to Medina, chased, taridan, sharidan, as he was being chased, as he was worried about his own life, only on the com with the company of his companion Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. You could imagine him now going back from Medina to Mecca, not alone, not in the company of Abu Bakr only, but in the company of a hundred thousand plus at that time, which is a large crowd to remind the Ummah, to remind the Ummah as we're going right now in a difficult time, أحسب الناس أن يتركوا أن يقولوا آمنا وهم لا يفتنون أم حسبتم أن تدخلوا الجنة ولم يأتكم مثل الذين خلوا من قبلكم مستهم البأساء والضراء وزلزلوا حتى يقول الرسول والذين آمنوا معه متى نصر الله ألا إن نصر الله قريب ألا إن نصر الله قريب my brothers and sisters, our Ummah right now is going through a difficult time. We remind ourselves, Ala in Nasrallahi Qareeb. Ala in Nasrallahi Qareeb. And we are also here being tested. We are as a community being tested. As time goes by, things are getting tighter and tighter on the Muslim community to be tested so that Allah Azza Jal would know who is honest and who is not honest in his Iman. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continued in his hajj trip with, with people around him peacefully, chanting, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik. He himself, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was not exempted 
from getting sick throughout the, the trip to, 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 to Mecca. He had his, 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 his headaches and he had to do the hijama to relieve the pain of his headache. And he was as a human being teaching everyone around us that we are, we are to strive in this dunya to Allah Azza wa Jal, just like many of our brothers and sisters and many of those who engage into the Hajj trip, they, get, they feel the sickness so that Allah Azza wa Jal purify their sins and raise their rank and accept their deeds, Allahumma ameen. And as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam approached Mecca and he, as he saw the Kaaba, he supplicated to Allah Azza wa Jal to honor this old house of Allah and to tzidhu shat tashreefan wa ta'zeeman. And as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that the first minute we see the Kaaba, the first minute we lay our eyes on the old house of Allah Azza wa Jal, as we feel the legacy of being in the hall, in, in front of the house of Allah Azza wa Jal, as the emotions flow in our hearts and our minds, and as the tears come from our eyes, our dua is accepted to Allah Azza wa Jal. And then he proceeded after that to do the tawaf, and by proceeding, by proceeding Al-Hajr Al-Aswad and by supplicating to Allah Azza wa Jal as he was going around, maybe, maybe as he's doing his tawaf around the Kaaba, was remembering the old times, the difficult times that he and the Sahaba had to go through. Maybe he was remembering when the Mushrikeen put the gut of the camel on his shoulders while he was making the sujood around the Kaaba. Maybe he was remembering Khabbab ibn al-Arat who came to him while once he was leaning by the Kaaba and said to him, Ala tad'u lana, ala tastansir lana. When he was asking the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to make dua for him and to make dua for the Muslimin and to supplicate to Allah Azjal to alleviate the suffering of, of the Ummah. And Khabbab ibn Urat, when he came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, came to him not because he was slightly beaten or he was tortured. He was dragged on the fire until the, the, back, the back of him, until his back had no flesh, no, no, no fat. He was all, it was only bones. This is how much the Sahaba of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went through. And this is how much the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had to go through in his da'wah to Allah Azza wa Jal. And now after 23 years, Allah Azza wa Jal is honoring him to peacefully, safely be doing his tawaf around the Kaaba. And everybody around him is looking up to him and inspired by his actions. He finished after that to pray the two ruk'ah behind the maqam Ibrahim. And then he proceeded after that to drink from Zamzam. And then he continued to as Safa and Al-Marwa to do his, his Sa'i between the Safa and Al-Marwa preceding the hill of Al-Marwa, as Safa, and then reciting the ayah, Inna as-Safa wal-Marwa ta min sha'air Allah, faman hajj al-bayt aw i'tamara fala junaha alayhi ayya tawwaf bihima, wa man tatawwa khayran fa inna Allah shakirun alim. As he was making his tawaf, the people of Mecca learned about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam doing the tawaf, doing the Sa'i, and they all rushed men and women, children, to come and have a look at the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he was doing his tawaf peacefully to the point that he, he mounted his camel to make it easy for them to be able to see him and to greet him while he is doing his tawaf. Continued to supplicate to Allah Azza wa Jal, continued to pray to him and to ask him from his rahmah and forgiveness. And after he finished, he continued with, with his ihram and asked the Sahaba to break their ihram because as they are mutamatti'een. And then he spent a few days in Mecca to proceed on the eighth day of the Hijjah to Mina, Yawm Tarwiyah, in which the Arab used to take the cattle and the lambs to water them before the day of Arafah. And then early he spent the night in Mina and proceeded from Mina to Arafah early after Fajr. And then when he approached, when he, spent, when he arrived to, to Arafah, and on the, on, after the zawal of the, of the Arafah, he gathered the Sahaba, and he addresses them in Masjid Namira, where it is right now, he addresses the Sahaba and give his outstanding khutbat al-wada'ah. Subhanallah. Only a few minutes of khutbah, 
he have addressed not only the Sahaba, but the Ummah until the day of judgment. And he have not only addressed the Muslim Ummah, but have addressed humanity until the day of judgment. إِنَّ أَمْوَالَكُمْ وَأَعْرَاضَكُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ حَرَامٌ كَحُرْمَةِ يَوْمِكُمْ هَذَا فِي بَلَدِكُمْ هَذَا Nowadays, humanity, as they are right now demonstrating in Wall Streets, as they are right now demonstrating in downtown of Toronto, as the whole world right now is suffering, they are need to be reminded about the few words of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, about the khutbah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which did not take hours, but rather took a few minutes in which he addresses how we should be honoring each other, how we should be protecting each other, how we should not be bloodshedding each other, whether we are Muslims and non-Muslims, or whether we are as brothers and sisters in Islam, or brothers and sisters in humanity. And he denounced al-riba. And he denounced al-riba, which is right now the whole world is suffering from. This is a major disease that have infected the humanity. And we need to heal us ourselves from riba. Riba as Allah Azza wa Jal illustrated to us in the Quran. الَّذِينَ يَأْكُلُونَ الْرِبَا لَا يَقُومُونَ إِلَّا كَمَا يَقُومُ الَّذِي يَتَخَبَّطُهُ الشَّيْطَانُ مِنَ الْمَسْ ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّهُمْ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا الْبَيْعُ مِثْلُ الْرِبَا وَحَرَّمَ اللَّهُ وَأَحَلَّ اللَّهُ الْبَيْعَ وَحَرَّمَ الْرِبَا فَمَنْ جَاءَهُ مَوْعِظَةٌ مِنْ رَبِّهِ فانتهى فَلَهُ مَا سَلَفْ وَأَمْرُهُ إِلَى اللَّهُ وَمَنْ عَادَ فَأُولَئِكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ يَمْحَقُ اللَّهُ الرِّبَا يَمْحَقُ اللَّهُ الرِّبَا وَيُرْبِ الصَّدَقَاتِ يَمْحَقُ اللَّهُ الرِّبَا وَيُرْبِ الصَّدَقَاتِ We need to address these issues to the humanity around us so that they know where we're heading as all together as people living on one earth, as people coming from one descendant, as people who are coming from Adam and Hawa. These are issues that we need to, to understand and comprehend and implement in our life and to pass on to those who are around us. There are much, much there is much need to be learned from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam khutbah and then he spent the rest of the day on Yawm Ara in the day of Arafah supplicating to Allah, reminding us that the best dua is the dua of Arafah, that the best day of the whole year is Yawm Arafah, the day in which the forgiveness of Allah Azza wa is given in abundance, the day in which the shaitan will not be seen as humiliated, as he will be seen in the day of Arafah. And then as the day end, after he supplicated to Allah Azza wa Jal, he proceeded to Al Muzdalifa to spend the night there and continued from there to Mana to throw the stones and to slaughter and to do the tawaf after that. This is in a brief Hijjat al Wada, the last Hijj of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in which it's called Al Wada because he called upon people to greet them and told them, La'alli la alqakum ba'da'ami hada. Imagine yourself. Not being in a company of affluent scholar while you're going to Hajj. Imagine yourself going to Hajj with the Prophet. ﷺ. Imagine how honorable was Abu Bakr. Imagine how honorable was Umar. And oh, we on us, oh, we on us who are unable to understand our deen. الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا. الحمد لله. May Allah عز وجل make it easy to those who have already gone and may Allah عز وجل make it easy for those who are yet to leave and may Allah عز وجل make it possible for all of us to be able to engage in a حج مبرور so that we are able to gain the رحمه of Allah عز وجل. Allah عز وجل knows that not all of us are able to make it every year all of us at once to Hajj. It's unrealistic. Then the Prophet وسلم, have illustrated to us that yet that, that even though that our hearts and, and, and our, we are eager and we're crying between the hands of Allah to ask him to give us Hajj multiple times, he knows that it's unrealistic that we all can make it. Therefore, 
we still, uh, we, as we're staying in our homes, even though we're left behind, we still can do a lot to be able to gain, inshallah, a similar, a similar ajr to those who have gone to the old house of Allah Azza wa Jal. As the Prophet Muhammad indicated, that ma min ayyam al amalu salihu fihinna ahabbu ilallah. No days of the year, the good deeds are highly evaluated by Allah Azza wa Jal, like the days we are in. Like the day we have started today, like the days we will live, we live through, inshallah, until Saturday. Let's benefit from these days, my brothers and sisters, and let's turn to Allah. Allah Azza had given us, alhamdulillah, gracious bounties, multiple bounties, multiple chances. We just finished Ramadan. We just observed the last ten days of the month of Ramadan, and many of us maybe were able to observe Laylatul Qadr. Now, alhamdulillah, from the gracious bounties of Allah Azza wa Jal. We're giving even better days, according to some scholars, or equivalent days to the last days of the month of Ramadan. These are the days we're living in right now. My brothers and sisters, let's not waste them. Let's not waste them by observing as many ibadat as possible. al amal al-salih is a general statement, does not specifically indicate one action and not the other. It indicates every amal al-salih you can afford in your life. Whether it is siyam to Allah Azza wa Jal, as, as the scholars have agreed that siyam, the days will be highly evaluated by Allah Azza wa Jal. And as we know that the, the siyam is to Allah and only Allah awards with it. And as we know that siyam yawmin fi sabilillah keeps you far away 70,000 years from the hellfire let's make sure that if we are able to fast these nine days and if we are unable let's do our best not to miss fasting the day of Arafah because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam indicated that the fasting the day of Arafah will help you to forgive the sins of the year to pass and the year to come and let's also remember that these are the days of remembering to Allah Azza wa Jal. These are the days of remembrance to Allah Azza wa Jal. فَأَكْتِرُوا فِيهِنَّ مِنَ التَّسْبِيحِ وَالتَّحْمِيدِ وَالتَّهْلِيلِ Let these days be days in which you remind your children about this ibadah of dhikr to Allah Azza wa Jal. While you are at home, while you are driving, while you are by yourself, whenever you have the chance, sub, sub, say the tasbih, Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah. Let your children know why you are doing the tasbih, because we are in the days of the hijjah. Why? Because this is, these are the best days of the whole year. These are the days in which the hajjis are standing right now around the Kaaba. These are the days in which we glorify Allah Azza wa Jal. And let's read as much as possible from the book of Allah Azza wa Jal to heal our hearts and let's stand between ha his hands in the last third of the night to be able to gain the Rahmah of Allah and let's also be mindful about our duties and responsibilities and especially in nowadays towards our Rahim these are from the highly awarded ibadat to Allah Azza wa Jal. These are the ibadat that we have almost forgotten. Let's not waste these precious moments. Let's not waste these days. But let's engage into ibadat. As I said, you choose the ibadah that you feel comfortable with. You feel that it's highly awarded between you and Allah Azza wa Jal. And let's remember that the day of Arafah is the day of dua. The day of Arafah is the day of dua. وَخَيْرُ مَا قُلْتُ أَنَا وَالنَّبِيِّينَ مِنْ قَبْلِ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ لَهُ الْحَمْدُ وَلَهُ الْمُلْكُ وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ and spending in the cause of Allah Azza wa Jal is one of them. I was asked by the brothers who are coming here to collect today to remind you to give fi sabirillah. We are alhamdulillah in, in days of giving fi sabirillah. These are days similar to the days of Ramadan and they are even better than the days of Ramadan. May Allah Azza wa Jal enable us to be able to give fi sabirillah. Alladheena yunfiquna amwalahum fi sabirillah layli wa nahari sirran wa alaniyatan falahum ajruhum inda rabbihum wa la khawfun alayhim. This ayah came right before the ayah that denouncing a riba and dealing with riba. May Allah Azza enable us to be able to do the al khair and al amal al salih in these days. Allahumma ameen. In Allahumma laikatu salun ala nabiya ayyuhu aladina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallim tislima. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Barak Allahumma ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim fil alameen. In ka hamidun majid. Allahumma ala abidu ka abna'u abidi ka abna'u inai ka nawasina biyadi ka maadim fina hukum. مكعدن فينا قضاءك نسألك اللهم بكل اسم هو لك سميت به نفسك أنزلته في كتابك أو علمته أحدا من 